So, without much further ado, let's go right dive in into the Word of God. Amen? So, we've um, heard from previous, previous uh, preachers. We have the theme once again. We cannot, we cannot miss uh, uh, reminding or saying again, speaking of that theme. We have this month. Even for the first quarter, the first quarter is expansion. But in every month, once again, there is a specific theme. So, that is taken from Isaiah 54, 2. And it says there, once again, just to remind us, what is the word of the Lord for the whole Gia community this um, first quarter of the year. So, it says there, enlarge the place of your tent and let them stretch out. The curtains of your dwellings, do not spare. Lengthen your cords and strengthen your stakes. Hallelujah. And so we've been talking about enlarge your tent. We've heard from to enlarge our tent. To have this expansion, there is a call. First, we've heard from um, Ati Cristel last time, a call for preparation. And last week, We've heard a call to fight. <laughs> Fighting. <laughs> sa, to, to, sa totoo lang, hindi ko nga alam na yung, yung fighting in Korean is aja. So th that's the first time I've learned last week. Amen? Ate Clarence, hallelujah. So today, I'm going to talk about a call, a unity. And there is such an urgent call for us into unity. Amen? So we've received, I know that we've talked a lot about uh, expansion and sowing, seed, amen, and reaping a bountiful harvest, amen, this um, first uh, month. We know God, God did not make a mistake when he promised that to us. Amen? Do you believe that? That our God is not like a person that could lie. And so when he promised to us that he will pour out such blessings, such bountiful harvest, he will do it. It's just a matter of time. Amen? And then we need also to be prepared. Diba? So I've been talking a lot about receiving what we have there in spiritual realm into here in physical realm. Amen. We need to receive it with our spirit first. Amen. And so, there is a call. There must be something, diba? Uh, sowing up. There must be something that we need to do. Amen. In preparation, in expectant, in expectant, expecting of that uh, fruit. Amen. We have to put ourselves in the center of the will of God. And we've heard the preparation that we need to push, we need to fight of what God has for us. Amen? It's because there is an enemy that would like always to rob, to steal, and to destroy all these things that God has for us. Amen? So we need to fight, we need to uh, uh, march forward. Amen? And so, but also, we need to be one. Amen? We need to be united. It is very, very important for a church, for an organization to be one, even non-profit non organization. They need, there should be unity in order for it to be successful. Amen? To be prosperous. Even in, even in, even in, in a family. There should be unity. There should be unity between husband and wife. You know, lagi ko tong binabanggit when I um, think pag nasa topic ako ng, ng marriage, ng wedding, lagi ko tong sinasambit yung cord. Kasi nag-stick talaga, yun talaga ang inano ko, hindi mawawala sa akin yun. Yung cord, the, the significance of cord during the wedding, that... You, they, they bind, the, the, that cord binds the couple as one. Amen? So that they will go into 
one direction because if one goes to the right and the other is on the left, they will hurt one another. There will be no, um, walang, walang mangyayari. Amen? And so, in a group of people, especially in the church, there is such a call for us. Christians, na kailangan makita at makitaan tayo nito, makita sa atin ang pagiging isa. Amen? It is very hard to advance kung divided ang mga tao. Amen? Do you think that, it, that we can easily advance, we can easily move on if we are talagang divided? Amen? The other one wants to go this way, the other want to go that way, the other one wants to move forward. And so, it is one of the, the, the things that we need to address. Amen? To address and to remind each and every one of us. Hallelujah. So, ano ba ang sinasabi dyan? There is a call to unity. Ang ating verse is nasa John 17, 21, 23. But before we go to that verse, one major, one, one um, word that is very important in being one is the fellowship. Amen? That's why we always have fellowship. Amen? People, kung, kung hindi kayo palagi nag-fellowship, there will be like one, no oneness. Walang pag-iisa. Amen? Kanya-kanya. So, fellowship. Ano ba ang fellowship? The Greek word of fellowship is koinonia. So, fellowship, it is sharing. Amen? Sharing. When sharing, when one has this something, it's for everyone, not just for himself. Unity, close association. Amen? That's why it is very important for our cell group. Small group, right? Because there, there is sharing. There is partnership. There is participation. Amen? A society, a communion, a fellowship, a contributory help, the brotherhood. May pag-iisa. Amen? So that is fellowship. And, hindi madali to achieve Do you agree? Hindi madali ma-achieve ang pag-iisa, yung partnership. Alam mo yun? Yung talagang yung just going in one direction. It's because we are unique individual. We are so different from the others. Amen? Kaya meron pag-iiba lagi. Kaya it's not easy to achieve being one. But, it is. It's hard. It may not be easy, but it is possible. It is doable. What is common in us that will make us one? It is the power of the Holy Spirit. It is the work of the Holy Spirit to make us one. Akoinonia is a unity brought about by the Holy Spirit. Amen? Because if we just allow our own flesh to operate, magkakaiba-iba talaga yan. Amen? But we are not operating by our own might, but our flesh. Amen? By our selfless desires, but we are operating by the power and the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Amen? So in Koinonia, the individual shares in a common an intimate bond of fellowship with the rest of the Christian society. Koinonia cements the believers to the Lord Jesus and to each other. Just like what happened yesterday, amen? It, it was a YWAV event, but then <laughs> parents were there too and had fun so much and had so much fun as well. And have you seen our... Um, um, Page, Facebook page, amen? What did you, what, what amazing was there, amen? That yesterday we were able to meet Mayor John Tory, and he posts a picture with us and talagang nilagay niya pa sa kanyang Twitter. Nakita, tingnan ninyo sa ating ano. So he saw, di ba, sabi niya, a bunch of Filipino church, sabi niya, it's, it is attractive, you know, when we are together, fellowshipping with one another, except lang sang someone dyan na talagang parang maingay lang talaga lagi, ano? Amen? So, hallelujah. So, fellowship. 
sharing, bonding together, and it is great. Hallelujah. And so let's go to our verse for today. In John 17, 21 to 23, let us all read together because it's there in the um, screen. In that, they all may be one, as you, Father, are in me, and I in you, that they also may be one in us, that the world may believe that you sent me. And the glory which you gave me, I have given them, that they may be one just as we are one. In them, in them and you, you and, am I reading? I in them, I in them and you in me, that they may be made perfect in one and that the world may know that you have sent me and have loved you, them, as you have loved me. Medyo may diferensya na yung mata ko, ano? Hallelujah. So, amen. So this passage in John 17, the whole chapter is Jesus' prayer. You know, during this time, Jesus was praying because he knows that the time, the hour, you know, the hour. Jesus um, uh, refers to his crucifixion when he says the hour has come. Amen. The hour has come is that he will be delivered to the enemy and will be crucified in behalf of us. Amen. To save us from all our sins. So, this is the prayer of Jesus. He prayed for himself in that chapter 17. He prayed for his disciples. But this specific passage, he was praying. He's praying for the new believers. Amen. Even for the believers in the future. Amen. And so if you are a believer of Jesus Christ, this prayer is for you. Amen. If you are a believer of Christ, this prayer is for you. Ang sabi niya, John, that as he and the Father is one, his prayer is that we will be one with him as well. Amen? So prayer in the most crucial time of his life, short life here on earth, bago siya makrucify, bago siya umalis dito sa earth, matapos yung, yung, yung assignment niya, you know, Ang concern ni Jesus, ang prayer ni Jesus is for us to be one. Amen? So there should be Christian, amen? Disciples of Jesus, believers of Jesus, makikitaan tayo dapat ng pagkakaisa. Amen? Hindi tayo kanya-kanya dito. Amen? So, sabi dyan, that they all may be one as your Father are in me and as you, Father, are in me and in you, I in you. Hallelujah. So Jesus and the Father are one. And that the prayer of Jesus is for us to be one with Him as well. Anong purpose dyan? Sabi, di ba? Take note of that uh, uh, verse 21. Anong sabi niya? That we should be one and that they may also be one with us so that the world, amen, to show the world that the show the world and believe that Jesus indeed has come from the Father. That Jesus indeed was the Lord, the Savior that was sent so that we may be able to live eternally with our Father. So that the world, isn't that what our um, um Team, what we sh we want to do this this season, we want expansion. We want others to believe and to know Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior. Amen. So even before we can go out and show the world and preach the word of God, it is a must and important that makita tayo ng pagkaka isa. Jesus is Jesus Christ Himself is. Saying that, so that, that is his purpose. Now, bucket he wants us to be one is that 
for evangelism purposes. Amen? For evangelism purposes. Kasi totoo naman yan. Amen? Hindi, kung hindi nga kayo nagkakaintindihan, sino pa bang gustong sumama sa inyo? Amen? Ay, ang gulo ng grupo na yan. Amen? Hallelujah. So, they all may be one. And the glory which you gave me, I have given me, given them that they may be one just as we are one. So, the glory, the revelation of Jesus Christ through His disciples is the means to unity, the revelation, the manifestation of, of God's character in Jesus. Amen? is given to us as well so that we could, we could be one. Amen? Kasi pag tayo lang, amen? Kasi it is no longer I that lives. Masasabi ba natin yun? It is no longer I that lives, but Christ Jesus. Amen? That lives in me. Hallelujah. So, such unity begins with the belief and the correct thinking about Jesus. So, minsan nag nagkakaroon ng division din pagkaiba-iba. Amen? Pagkaiba-iba talaga yung, yung iniisip, yung pagkakaintindi. Amen? Iba-ibang ideas. But sabi ko nga earlier, it is the work of the Holy Spirit. We need the Holy Spirit in order for us to be really one. <clears throat> Correct belief must bear fruit a life that demonstrates God's love and produces unity between all the believers. That is why the, but the, 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 the foundation of our Christianity is love. Because from that love, diba? bottom line, it is the love. If there is love in your heart, then it is possible, it is easy to get along with the others, to be one with the others. So, the mutual indwelling of the Father and and thus and of the the Father and in the Son and the Son in the Church is also means to unity. Amen. Means ibig sabihin it results to unity. Amen. So, Jesus as one with the church. So, nakikita natin dito that Jesus and the Father have the same. They are one because they have one purpose and the purpose is that to save us, the world, through the love of God the Father. In the manifestation of that love is Jesus Christ Himself. And also the plan. They are one in plan. So the plan, what's the plan of God in Jesus Christ is that to bless us, amen? To bless us, to make us whole, to make us healthy, to make us live the life that God has intended for us. And also the power, power, we, that is victory in us, amen? We have given power to trample over our enemies. Scorpions, we have given power to overcome any situation. We have given power to overcome sicknesses. Amen? Depression. Hallelujah. And that power comes from God Himself through Jesus Christ. So, one, being one. It is very profound, you know? The equation of oneness. Pagiging isa. Hindi tayo oneness dito na religion, but being one, no? It is profound. It is, but it is very simple, you know? Simply lang to. It, it's very achievable. One plus one plus one equals, in us, it's one. Still one, amen? Ourselves being equal, one with Christ, Ourselves and another. Amen? Being one with another. Hallelujah. So, we've heard unity is very important in seeing this promise of God. The expansion, the enlargement, and that bearing fruit. So, but as I said earlier, it is 
not easy to achieve. There are always barriers. Amen? Meron laging nakaharang. Di ba? Lahat naman sa ating buhay, laging may nakaharang. Yan ang gawain kasi ng kaaway. Eh. Yun, gusto mong pumunta, di ba? Pumunta sa prayer. Pero ang daming harang. Amen? Daming rason. Gusto mong pumunta ng church. Uy, nag no. Amen? Kaya sunod na lang, mag-online na lang ako. Kasi mag- hindi maganda ang panahon. Amen? Hallelujah. <laughs> nag amen So, ano, ano ba yung mga barriers na yan? We have to see them. Amen? In order for us to overcome them. So, makikita natin yan sa 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 3. Sabi dyan, For you are still carnal, for where there are envy, strife, and divisions among you, are you not carnal and behaving like mere men? So, carnal. An immature Christian naturally lacks many traits. Right? So, kung bago, it's understandable. Kasi kaka, tulad ng bata, kakapanganak lang, what do you expect? You have to take care. You have to do everything for them. Same with spiritual babies. That is why we, na talagang matanda na sa Panginoon, we take care of them. Right? But it's not normal for a baby to stay the same after one year, after two years. There is growth. And same with spiritual life, with our spiritual life. Amen? There is just such a period of time that you can be um, fed with milk. But later, we should grow up, right? So here, Paul is saying that if we allow our flesh that is carnal, to operate, we are still spiritual babes. Amen? Kasi pag, ano ka, season ka, or mature ka sa Panginoon, pag, hindi ka na, ano, hindi ka na, yun, sinasabi dito, envy, strife, parang hindi ka madaling magalit. Amen? Hindi ka madaling ma-offend. Amen? Hindi ka madaling, ah, hindi na ako pupunta dyan sa simbahan. Amen? Aalis na ako, magano, hindi naman ano dyan ng mga tao. Amen? So, itong sinasabi natin, that is when, 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 does, when that happens, you know, it is the work of the flesh. Amen? It is carnal. So, that is why, that is a barrier. Sabi nga, di ba, lagi natin itong naririnig, our biggest or strongest enemy is not our kapatid, or kaharap natin, it is ourselves. Amen? Tayo mismo, yun yung pinakamalaking ano natin, kaaway natin, because it is the flesh and the spirit, like, battling. Right? The flesh and the spirit is always pagkaiba ang, ano, that's why we need to subject our flesh into the power of the spirit. So, sabi nga, so, the carnal man is a believer with childish ways. Amen? Childish ways. As seen in a jealous, amen? Mga jealous, mga jelly dyan. So, an immature Christians live more for human opinion than for Christ. Ano tayo, very um, mindful tayo sa ating mga paligid, sa mga naririnig natin, what we see here, Right? So, we are still affected. If we are still affected by the things around us, we, are, we need to grow more in the Lord. Amen? We need to grow more spiritually. Sabi din sa Philippians 2.3, sabi dyan, Let nothing be done through selfish ambition or conceit. Yan talaga ang nag, malaking factor ng division. Amen? Kanya-kanya, selfish ambition. Or consider, but in lowliness of mind, let each one, let each esteem others better than himself. Let each of you look out not only for his own interest, but also for the interest of others. Amen? Di ba yun talaga? Namamatay tayo sa sarili natin. Inuuna natin yung iba. 
That is expected. Hindi yan ano, being martyr or hindi yan being foolish. Amen? Na sabihin mo, sinong magtatanggol sa sarili mo kung hindi mo, di ba? Unahin mo muna sa sarili mo. But here, the Word of God is exhorting us. Kasi pag inuna, bawat isa, yan ang stand niya. Unahin ang sarili. Wala talagang unity. Walang pagkakaisa. Amen? Division ang labas. So let no one, let nothing be done through selfish ambition or conceit. So, True spiritual unity flows from the presence of the Holy Spirit in the lives of God's people. So, spiritual unity can only be achieved by the power of the Holy Spirit. In Acts 2, 42-47, it says there, And with many other words, No, uh, I've started with 40, but the 42 there it says, And they continued steadfastly in the apostles' doctrine and fellowship, in the breaking of bread, and in prayers. Ano dito? And they continued steadfastly. These are the new believers. You know, Peter, in that um, passage, Acts, Acts, Ano ba nangyayari sa mga, mga PN, saka mga F, at saka VN? <laughs> Hallelujah. So, uh, pag binalikan mo yung two um, earlier uh, verses, earlier, like 40 and 41, sinasabi dyan na, and with many other words, he testified and exhorted them, saying, so this is Peter here, standing in the multitude, delivering, exhorting, the word of God. Yan. Ang, ang sabi niya, sabi ni Peter John, be saved from this perverse generation. And then, those who gladly received this word were baptized and the day about three, and the, that day, and that day, how much? How many? Uh, there are 3,000 souls were added to them. Imagine, in one preaching, in one instance, amen, one time, 3,000 souls were added to them. And hindi lang yan, di ba? Minsan pag merong evangelistic crusade, many, many people, they heard Jesus, they accept Jesus, but most of them, they don't continue on, right? And that's it for them. But here, sinasabi dito, sa 42, and they continued steadfastly. Hindi sila continued so-so. Na attend ng church. Oh, attend sila ng church. Steadfastly. Ano bang ibig sabihin natin steadfastly? So strongly. I mean, firmly. Imagine that. Kakarinig lang nila ng, ng word of God. They should have been just, di ba? Steadfastly. Apostles. And they continued in the apostles' doctrine and fellowship, in the breaking of bread, and in prayers. Ito yung ginagawa. And then, anong nangyari sunod? Then fear came upon every soul. 43 na yan, verse 43. And many wonders and signs were done through the apostles. Now all who believed were together. All who believed were together and had all things in common. Iyan ang unity. Amen? Hindi ka iniiwan. And sold their possession to the point, di ba? Sold their possession and goods and divided them among all as anyone had a need. Amen? Pero siguro dahil that time, Ibaba, walang, walang bills na binabayaran. Amen? Walang hindi pupulit. They live, they practically live in streets. Amen? Doing the work of God. But for us, our comfort is so important to us. Sarap ng bed mo, ayaw mong bumangon. Amen? Merong gawain, ayaw mong pumunta. Kasi, di ba? You love your comfort so much. But to them, they sold their possession. 
And so continuing daily. Sa, sa atin nga Sunday nga lang, di ba? Sunday nga lang tayo eh. Minsan Sabado pa, minsan-minsan may Sabado. Di ba? Continuing daily with one accord in the temple. In the temple talaga, hindi virtual. They have to come in the temple. And you know what? Alam ko lahat tayo, alam natin to, naglalakad lang sila. Wala silang brand new car. Amen? And breaking bread from house to house. Amen. So yung mga hindi makarating sa temple, they go to their houses. They ate their food with gladness and simplicity of heart. Ito yung nangyayari sa cell group natin, di ba? We come together in one house. Hindi lang puro kain. <laughs> hindi lang puro kain, di ba? Sabi dyan. In apostles doctrine. Dapat may sharing talaga ng word. May papalakasan through word and our testimony. Breaking of word and prayers. Kaya naman sa cell group natin si Minsan, hindi natin alam gagawin kasi hindi naman ako nakapag-aral, hindi pa ako na-train, di ba? Ito, mag, mag, manalangin kayo, marunong kayo manalangin, di ba? O, marunong kayo magbasa. Marunong kumanta. Hallelujah. So, you can gather together in magpalakasan. Continuing with one accord, praising God and having favor with all the people. And the Lord added to the church. So, hindi lang yung 3,000 yung one time. But daily, the Lord added to the church daily those who were being saved. Amen. So nakikita natin the importance of unity, of being one. Kasi ito yung kinakry natin lagi, eh, di ba? We want, dun sa Scarborough, we want souls to be added there, to be saved there. We want to establish our ministry there. First, we have to be united. Amen? 3,000 souls. So the apostles had the duty of training this large number of group and bringing them into fellowship with other believers. Diba? Yun yun eh. Kaya nga, importante yung GBTC natin, yung so natin. Kasi doon yun nakalatag sa ating school of worker na from unbelievers to believer and to worker, committed worker, disciple from disciples to disciple maker. Amen? We have that roadmap for us. So, training them. Kaya nga siguro, di ba? We've been crying. Gia Toronto is 22 years now. We're, we're preparing for our 22nd anniversary. Amen? Kaya, from the start, wala naman kasing kristyano gustong mag-commit at mag mag, mag um, maging co-worker ni Jesus na ang puso ay hindi para lumago at yung ibang tao ay maging kristyano din. Tanggapin si Jesus. Yan yung pinaka-mandate sa atin, di ba? Go and make disciples to all nations. Kaya walang church na hindi nag-share ng word of God for people to be saved. Yan yung nam, na isang, isang um, main Role, role, role ng church, function ng church, amen, is to evangelize. So, and we see here that also prayers is very, very essential part of spiritual growth of the church. We often hear, hear this. Prayer is the spiritual backbone of the church. Do you believe in that? Amen. Amen. So if the church, yung church natin, if we don't know 
kung wala ang pinapagawa ng Lord sa atin. So, we, we pray. Amen? We spend time in prayer. Ang isang new believer, it is very important to be taught how to build his faith, her faith, through prayers. Amen? It is very important factor of spiritual growth of an individual and as a church. Amen. So that's the, the barrier of the being united or being one. So unity can be achieved in the church. Let's, let's talk about this. Through living in union with God. In John 15, 5, it says there, I am the vine, you are the branches. He who abides in me and I in him bears much fruit, for without me you can do nothing. Amen? So, kahit anong sikap natin, di ba? Anong struggle natin, lahat-lahat, kasi you're the kind of person that is result-oriented. Amen. Hindi ka mapapakali pag hindi mo nakita yung result ng ano mo, yung yung plano mo, yung goal mo, di ba? You're a person that is so uh, specific with your plans na when you set your mind, you 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 have this plan, you must achieve this otherwise hindi ka magkakasakit ka. Amen. So, but here, sinasabi dito, even if you're that talented person, if Christ is not in you, you are not connected. You are not plugged in to Christ. Sabi niya, it is Jesus Christ himself saying this, apart from me, you can do nothing. So, ma, ma ano pa ba tayo dyan? Magda-doubt pa ba tayo? Mag-iisip pa tayo otherwise? It's just very simple. Apart from me, you can do nothing. So first, plug yourself in Christ. Amen? Abide. Narinig na natin to. Maraming ng teaching or preachings about this abiding. Bakit ni inulit-ulit? Kasi it is very important in a Christian life. Pa- paano matawag yung sarili mo na Kristiyano ka kung wala ang Christ sa'yo? Kaya nga Christian, di ba? Hindi si Christian ni Mariel. Di ba? Pero Kristiyano ka dahil disciple ka, follower ka ni Jesus Christ. So, tandaan, basic, di ba? Basic. Hallelujah. So, in Philippians 2, verse 2, sabi ni Paul John, Fulfill my joy by being like-minded. Like-minded. So, it brings joy. If we are one, di ba? Totoo naman. Masaya ka ba kung talagang <laughs> hindi kayo magkakasundo? Hallelujah. So, fulfill my joy by being like-minded, having the same love. Bakit kaya the same love? Ano? Kasi iba-iba yung <laughs> nasa puso natin. ba? Sabi sa salita ng Lord, if you love the world, the love of the Father is not in you. Amen? Either you love or hate God. Amen? So, this same love, peace with those who call on the Lord out of a pure heart. No, I'm reading already uh, 2 Timothy chapter 2. So, being, balik tayo dun sa 2 Philippians. Having the same love, being of one accord, of one mind. Hallelujah. So, in also, we can achieve unity in the church through righteousness. Amen? So, 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 22, it says there, Flee also youthful lust, but pursue righteousness, faith, love, peace with those who call on the Lord out of a pure heart. So sabi ng word of God, flee. Sabi doon sa, sa verse 23, But avoid foolish and ignorant disputes, knowing that they generate stripes. 
And the servant of the Lord must not quarrel, but be gentle to all, able to teach, patient, in humility, correcting those who are in opposition. If God perhaps will grant them repentance so that they may know the truth and that they may come to their senses and escape the snare of the de devil, having been taken captive by him to do his will. Hallelujah. So there, we can see, tatlong word dyan, nakita natin verbs. Una, sabi, flee. Talagang literally, sometimes you have to run away. Best example natin dyan is si Joseph, di ba? In the Old Testament. He literally ran away from the temptation from Potiphar's wife. So we need, hindi, kailangan, we have to flee from temptation. Youthful lust. And anong gagawin pa? Pursue. What should we be pursuing? It is the righteousness. The faith, the love, the peace. Amen? The fruit of the Holy Spirit. This is what we should be pursuing. So, when you say pursue, talagang you're exerting effort. Amen? You're advancing. Amen? Hindi lang yung nag ka, whatever happens, but pursue intentionally. We have to be intentional in doing these things. Amen? Kasi pag hindi tayo intentional, pag hindi natin pinursuto, hindi mangyayari kasi our flesh doesn't want this. Hallelujah. And so, another verb there, flee, pursue, avoid. So, hindi lang flee, hindi lang pursue, but we also have to avoid. Minsan, alam mo, it will give you bad reaction. Alam mong magiinit yung ulo mo. Talking to that person, alam mong mag, ano ka, magsasalita ka ng something. Tulad sa mga sharing namin dito last Friday, sa ating uh, culmination ng ano, may mga sharing na ganun. It's because of the power of the Holy Spirit during prayer and fasting na talagang nahuhold yung tongue. Para ano, para dahil kristyano tayo. Amen? Ma-preserve tayo, ma-preserve ang pangalan ng Lord na nire-represent natin. Amen? So, avoid foolish and ignorant disputes. Alam mo, hindi makakapagbigay ng, ano niyan, ng something good, ng fruit. Pero, alam mo, nakaka-encounter na ba kayo ng tao na talagang, yun lang ang talagang gustong gawin. Pag pumasok na, na pag nakipag-usap na, yun, nag-create nag, nag, ng disagreement, no? Nang debate. Pero sabi sa atin, kaya hindi tayo nakikipag-debate, eh, no? Pag naka-encounter ka dyan ng ibang, ano, faith, ibang religion, sinasabihan ba tayong makipag-debate dyan? No, we avoid them. Diba? Foolish dispute, uh, foolish and ignorant disputes, knowing that they generate strife magkakasakitan lang kayo. Amen? Magkaka-offendan lang kayo. Hindi na kayo magkikibuan, hindi na kayo makipag-usap sa isa't isa for ilang buwan. Amen? So, and a servant of the Lord must not quarrel. So, these are the things. No? Righteousness. And also, it is very important to be Humble in humility, correcting those who are in opposition. Kahit man na nagdi-disagree kayo, we are called to speak in love. Amen? You are correcting that person gently because you love that person. Amen? Hindi na kinukorek mo yung person para to shame him in his face. Na pakita sa kanya, mali siya. Kasi talagang palagi lang akala niya tama siya eh, no? To really shame. But you're correct, correcting someone because you love that someone and you don't want that someone to go on living in a life that is sinful. Amen? And alam natin, we know, we very well know that living in sin leads to destruction. 
Amen? And if you love that someone, you don't want that person to be destroyed. Amen? You don't want that person to go to hell. Hallelujah. So, there. And that they may come to their senses and escape. Because you know what? If you harshly rebuke someone, do you think that person will take it? Will take it na maging maayos siya? No. It's, it's, sometimes it brings more offense and hurt, right? Rather than restoring that person, that someone. Hallelujah. So, righteousness. And another is love. In Philippians 1.9, sabi dyan, And this I pray that your love may abound still more and more in knowledge and all discernment. Your love. You, we may be filled with that love. Without love, yun, nabanggit ko na kanina. If you have love, if you love that someone, then unity, being one with that someone is possible. In John 13, 34 to 35, it says there, A new commandment I give to you, that you love one another as I have loved you, that you also love one another. By this, all will know that you are my disciples if you have love for one another. Lagi natin naririnig to, di ba? The greatest commandment is to love one another. At hindi lang basta-basta ang pagmamahal. Ang standard ni Jesus sa pagmamahal na ito ay yung pagmamahal niya sa atin. How did Jesus love us? How did Jesus show His love to us? Amen? By dying on that cross taking the shame and the sin upon himself. Our shame, our sin, taking it upon all himself because of that love. So he, us, his followers, should love one another. Amen? So that, sabi doon nga, if you have loved one for another, another, then all the world will know that we are His disciples. So, the world may believe in the reality of Jesus' love when they see it in us. You know, see, mahirap maniwala sa isang bagay na hindi mo nakikita. Amen? Mahirap, hindi ganun kadali, but it's possible. Like for us, we don't see God, but we love God. Amen? We see the love of God from each other. Ito yun ang sinasabi. So that people will know that Jesus indeed, we are the disciples of Jesus because of the love that we have among one another. Amen? So, being one, bottom line, first and foremost, we need to have that love in our heart, authentic love, amen? And so, we can be one. And sabi doon, again, let's go back, that as Jesus and the Father are one, so we should be one with Jesus in one another. Hallelujah. So that the world will know. Talagang it's for the evangelism. Balik tayo doon. It is the purpose. The purpose of God for us will be manifested, will be accomplished. Amen? If we are one, the purpose of God through His church will be accomplished if we are one with God. And the plan will God, the plan of God will come to pass, will happen. Amen? Will be realized in us if we are one with Jesus Christ. And also, we will be empowered. 
the power, the victory that Jesus has, it will be with us as well. Amen? That as we continue to live, await for His second coming, coming, we will be in the center of His purpose, we will be in the center of His plan, and we will be in the center of His power. Amen? Hallelujah. Let us all stand. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, God. Holy Spirit, thank you for being with us. Thank you, God, for reminding us of your word. Thank you, God, for opening our hearts and our mind once again, Panginoon, to your call. And today specifically, God, you've reminded us for your call for us to be one. God, this is the prayer of Jesus himself. It is very important to him. It, is, it concerns him, oh God, that we should be one. Right now, Lord, we ask of this. Let the very prayer of Jesus Christ be manifested, be fulfilled in this church, oh God. In Jesus' love community, Toronto, Panginoon, that we should be one first and foremost to you, oh God. Right now, Lord, let your people, allow your people to be reconciled to you right now, to Jesus as their Lord and Savior. And even for those, Lord, that have not received, Lord, experience your love yet. Today, oh God, right now, as they hear me praying, oh God, may their hearts be open to your love, to your saving grace right now, oh God, wherever they are right now. Meet them, oh God. Holy Spirit, come upon them. Allow them, oh God, to receive and feel the love of the Father upon them through Jesus Christ, their Lord and Savior. Hallelujah. God, and also, Panginoon, we pray that as we are being one with you, allow us to be one with one another, Lord. Unite us, Lord. We know that we have so many differences, oh God. We are unique individuals, Lord. But in you, we can be one through the power, the indwelling of the Holy Spirit. And so right now, oh God, allow your people to receive the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. If anyone there wants a fresh touch of the Holy Spirit, the baptism of the Holy Spirit, you can ask for it. You can desire for it. And it will come to you. Hallelujah. If there's anything that is hindering in you, in your heart right now, you ask forgiveness. Ask the Lord to show you what you need to rebuke, what you need to, to, to take away from your heart and your mind in order for the Holy Spirit to come and indwell in you. Hallelujah. 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 Holy Spirit, come upon your people. Oh, come upon us right now. Hallelujah. Holy Spirit, we want you. We need you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Lord. Thank you, God, that as your people desire for the Holy Spirit, you said, God, that you will give it to them. And so, Lord, right now, allow your people to receive it. Thank you, God. Thank you. you. We know that you are here right now. Hallelujah, God. Jesus. Lord, continue, Lord, to empower us, the power of the Holy Spirit to rebuke all these weaknesses in us, oh God. To overcome all these weaknesses. Lord, to free, Lord, from even for the, from the chain that we've been, Lord, shackled with. Hallelujah, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. 
And so God, we desire, Lord, that as we are being one, Panginoon, we await, we await, oh God, for the outpouring of your blessings, the harvest, oh God, the plentiful harvest, oh God. We will be seeing it, oh God, soon. Thank you, Jesus. And allow your people, ask Lord, your disciples to be ready, O oh God, to make disciples for all these souls that you will be giving unto us. Hallelujah. And we continue to declare, indeed, O oh God, that without you, we cannot do it. Apart from you, we are nothing, O oh God. And so Jesus, Holy Spirit, abide in us. Abide in us, we pray. In Jesus' name, amen and amen.